hello guys today I'm going to show you how to upgrade SharePoint 2013 content database to SharePoint 2016 before proceeding further we need to verify some features or settings first of all make sure you have installed service pack 1 in SharePoint 2013 SharePoint 13 for that go to upgrade and migration here make sure that you have installed service pack 1 for microsoft sharepoint server 2013 and in target sharepoint 2016 you need to install these two updates uh, for this uh, component i will write the download link in a description section here go to upgrade in migration check product and patch installation status here is you need to in install these two updates before upgrade the content database here after that uh, when you finish this all the settings uh, choose your web application which you want to upgrade to SharePoint uh, 16 manage web application I'm going to upgrade this 2727 and check service connections make sure you have same service application in source in uh, target this is source manage metadata service application and uses and health data connect collection proxy here I'm going to create new web application I will define port 288 okay database is content database is database name is fine anyway I'm going to delete it later so manage metadata and users and health con users and health data collection process that's fine because of we have same service application okay create new web application web application is created now we are not going to create any site collection here this is our, our new web application application management manage content database and select your web application and this is content database here this content database I'm going to delete this one remove content database okay there is nothing now now go to your source SharePoint 2013 manage application management manage content database select your web application here this is my source and here this is a database name and it has two site collections uh, here you can see here view all site collections this is and site one and site two site one and site two both sites have some documents fine and we need to find this content database and take back this is my database server for SharePoint 2013 management studio connect database find the database which we have here this one this one is before taking back up this content database uh, uh, so convert this database to read only mode here properties go to options in the bottom of this section database read only true okay yes now this is read only mode okay now take backup uh, backup where 
I'm going to create one folder for backup. Backup type is full. Okay, fine. Uh, here, age. SP13 backup. SP13 backup dot bak extension should be bak okay and i'm going to remove this part i'm going to rename this database sp sp13 backup okay okay completely completed successfully fine here this is my content database copy and I'm going to paste to new server and I'm going to paste here okay create new folder here fine now open management studio this is my SQL Server 2014 for SharePoint 2016. Fine. Database. Restore. From device. Browse your. Copy database. Browse your copy database from SP13 backup. This one is. Okay okay name is sp13 you can write any name or you can leave it in default okay okay database is restored successfully fine there should be our new database and now convert this database to read and write properties options and here change to false okay now it is read and write mode and go to security logins uh, this is my farm admin so I'm going to a grant permission for this content database properties user mapping select your content database this is my content database sp13 backup yeah here and role is db honor okay fine okay. now all steps are done i think now time to open sharepoint management cell sharepoint management cell and run is administrator yes okay here first we need to test content database with this newly created web application if this database is compatible or we can convert or we can upgrade or the, if there is anything that's uh, missing test sp content database name name is this one is our new sp content database okay here this one is our database and web application is application management manage web application this is our web application to it to it hit enter and wait for a few as a minute it will take some time depending on your content okay that's fine there is no warning and there is no error messages now we need to run second command mount sp 
content database rest of command are same name name is WSS content and web application is this one and hit enter okay WSS content mounted or mounted and upgraded successfully there is no warning no error and it says current site count is to this fine just I, I'm going to verify that one uh, here manage application manage content database this one this is our web application and this is our content database and it says current number of site collections is two with you view all site collections site one is this one how oh, we can go here this is sp13 and port is different never yeah working on it yeah here is this is site one and server and port is different this is site one there is some files one two three four files here are four files and this is site two site one two thousand thirteen and port is different and here this is serpent 2016 and port is different files are same here and here thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you